Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at who is spying on your social media. So we're going to see a little bit into the tea of who's spying on you. Okay, so let me show you your crystals for each pile, but please be aware this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, lead the rest. So for pile number one, we have rose quartz. And we have the violet angel. For pile number two, we have red jasper. And we have the strange valentine. And for pile number three, we have tiger's eye. And we have the card Ghosts of the Past. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. But of course, if you're drawn to more than one pile, there could be more messages there for you. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below, and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there, my pile number ones. If you chose this rose quartz crystal and the violet angel with breaking dawn card number 23, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at who is spying on your social media. So please be aware this is a general reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. We are starting off using the Shadows and Light Oracle deck. We're also going to be using the Sacred Light Oracle deck as well as the Ethereal Visions Tarot. So let's get started with your reading. So Spirit Guides of my pile number ones. Spirit Guides of my pile number ones. Who is spying on their social media? So we have Language of Light, Rediscovery, Humble Wanderer, Communication, card number 18. And we have Celestial Channel with Hidden Beauty, Remaining Optimistic and Staying Neutral, card number 6. At the back of the deck, we have Angelic Realms with a team effort, charity, validation, and patience. So the word a team effort is really sticking out to me. And when I did start your reading, I did feel uh, two particular people that are spying on your social media. I feel like these are people you have cut out of your life in some way. It doesn't have to be you know, a harsh situation. However, I feel like these are two particular or t two to three, but for most of you two, uh, individuals that are kind of like looking at your social media together because you have cleared them out of your life. I'm hearing that song that's like, since you've been gone, I can breathe for the first time. And I feel like that's your perspective. So I don't think this is like uh, people you do actually want in your life. So spirit guides of my pile number ones, uh, who is spying on their social media? You have the temperance card. I'm really noticing the eye here. We have the magician. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Star. We have the Sun. Okay, I see where this reading is going. 
At the back of the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. And I'm noticing the Eight of Swords wanted to pop out and the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands. So just extra information about this person and about these people. I'm also seeing the angel number 515 that could be significant to the reading, especially since the center of your card is the violet angel with breaking dawn. And this card talks about how you have been through a winter period in your life, my pile number ones. And I'm not sure if these people caused this winter period in your life. You know, when I talk about a winter period, it's a period of introspection, um, going within healing and maybe feeling a little bit of, you know, more tough emotions to process. However, I feel like you have recently come out of that, which is maybe why the number 515 showed up because the number five is all about change. And what this card in your center of the reading talks about is the springtime coming back to fruition, where things are starting to bloom in your life. Things are starting to get much brighter in your life. I mean, this is the one of the brightest cards in this um, oracle deck because most of the cards are quite like more neutral colors or darker colors. And this is a bright pink. So there's something about something like you and your life becoming more brighter, more full of love because pink is a color of love. You know, these two individuals or three individuals for most of you too, I feel they're kind of watching your life get better. They're kind of like watching you grow within your own life. They're watching you bloom in a way. Again, since springtime brings this energy of flowers blooming again, they're watching you bloom again and your life bloom again. Whoever these two or three people are, like I said, for most of you too, I feel they're people that have been out of your life for a while now. And it's kind of like, I don't think you even think of these people. I'm picking up that these are quite extroverted people. Uh, some of you may relate to being more of an introvert or... Um, someone that likes your alone time or you're just a little bit more discerning about who you let into your circle as a result of maybe some things you've been through. So I feel the energies of you being very discerning of who you let in. Um, and I feel like these are two or three people you've kind of cut out of your life. I'm not sure why. It could be different for all of you. Maybe for some of you, there was a conflict. For others of you, maybe their energy just didn't resonate with you anymore. Whatever the reason is, I feel like these individuals are watching you right now because they're seeing you heal. They're seeing you start to get more happier. They're seeing a hidden beauty within you right now. It's it's kind of like maybe they're seeing a little bit of a glow up within you. I mean, you even chose the rose quartz crystal, which is also a crystal of love, beauty, that softness. Maybe you have been becoming more soft, uh, more open to, you know, healthy kinds of love within your life. And I think they've been seeing the hidden beauty within you right now. And how you have transformed in a way. They're seeing, you know, uh, how you've taken a key to unlock something within your own life. I feel no matter what happened in the past right now, like let's say in the past they were rude to you or they had bad intentions towards you. Right now I actually see them having pure intentions towards you while they're watching you but I'm not sure if you'd want them back in your life because it's kind of like they're watching you rediscover yourself you know um they're watching you heal they're watching you create something that you've always wanted to in your life with a nine of cups something you've always wished for you could have new relationships in your life, new friendships in your life. 
I guess it will depend for a lot of you if this was romantic or not, but you could have new friendships or relationships in your life that these people are seeing. Or you could be, you know, expanding within your career, within your goals, or you could just be doing a lot better mentally, emotionally. And this is what they're seeing within you, which is why they're watching your social media, because it's kind of like, oh, this person looks like they're doing well right now. And I feel um, it's not like they're looking at you with a maliciousness. It's kind of like they're looking at you and being a little bit neutral, but having an intrigue towards you and how you have bettered your life. So uh, these individuals see you as someone very angelic, a pure soul. And I feel like no matter what happened in the past, I feel the reason why they are, you know, spying on your social media is because because you're someone that shines bright, my pile number ones. And I feel like there's something about them where they're missing you right now. Uh, they're missing this angelic, pure essence you have. Maybe they're realizing what they're missing out on. For a lot of you, I feel this could have been friendships in your life. Maybe like two or three friends you had like in a friendship group. Uh, but it may not resonate with everyone. So yeah, I'm seeing these these two people or three people when they were in your life, I feel like they were a little bit draining. I feel like it was a little bit of a one-sided relationship. Um, and I feel like since then, you have been a little bit more discerning of who you let into your life. I heard the song Lonely by Kali Uchis. I think it's called Lonely. She says something like, I don't want to be your cigarette. I don't want to be your ashtray. I don't want to be your doormat. Um, you know, and she talks about like how she'd rather be alone than have that person in their life mistreat her. One, two, two, two on the timer. So confirmation. Um, they could have mistreated you a little bit. Doesn't I don't know like the extent, it will differ for all of you, but they could have you know took advantage of your kindness while they were in your life. Um, I feel your relationship to them and them as people, they're very adventurous people, very playful. I see them being very free-spirited people, like very happy-go-lucky. They may be the type of people that brought a lot of happiness and joy into your life, you know, when you were connected to them. They could have been very funny. They could have been very outgoing, you know, go out a lot. They could have, like I said, been very extroverted people and, you know, like going to events, parties, places to have fun and enjoy. Um, I feel that type of energy, like very outgoing people that always are out and about. They're never kind of like at home chilling. Uh, these are the types of people that always like to go out, always like to meet new people, uh, always like to have fun. Does that make sense? So that's the type of people I'm seeing. So I'm kind of seeing clairvoyantly you, you know, lying in your bed or something like that and messaging them but them kind of like blowing you off I don't think that will resonate with everyone but maybe one person here um like maybe they were the types of people that had like many friendships but then maybe you were kind of like focusing on them alone or maybe you had other friendships in your life at the time or like other people in your life but I feel like these were the types of people you were very close to um however they kept you a little bit at an, at an arm's length and I I feel like like I said this connection to them was very much like one-sided uh where they did bring a lot of fun and and this type of adventurous, free-spirited energy into your life, but at the same time, I think they didn't fully appreciate you when you were in their lives, and now I guess they're missing you because they're realizing that you could have been a good friend, a good partner, 
Like, whatever this connection was. I feel like the reason why they are spying on your social media is because they wish to communicate with you. Uh, they wish to create something new with you and heal whatever happened in the past. This is what they're wishing to do. They're wishing to bring harmony back into your connection, but I don't know, like, if these people have been gone from your life so long and they're only coming back when they see, you know, your life get better and they see you've moved on, they see you've healed, is that fully a good thing? I don't know. That's something for you to maybe think about. Because I feel like they've been watching your social media for a while now, my panel number ones. And it's kind of like they're seeing you get better. They're maybe even seeing you become more beautiful. Maybe see you um, become more attractive or more optimistic about life. Where there's a lot more love and this dreamy, flowy energy, harmonic energy in your life. And it's like, I guess they want to communicate with you, but... I think they don't really know how because I think they're a little bit afraid that you would reject them since you have become a lot more wiser ever since this has ended. For some of you, I feel these are the types of people when they were in your life, they could have criticized you or put you down because you shine so bright. Um, For some of you, not all of you. There could have been like a little bit je of jealousy here on their side in the beginning, but I don't see it right now. They're looking at your life right now because you're getting better, because things are getting better in your own life. Um, And with Celestial Channel, I guess, for some of you, I'm getting an impression here, not all of you. For some of you, this person or these people could have tried to get readings on you to see if you would... Uh, be open to coming back into their life. I want to get more information on who these people are. So let me just pull a few more cards. So can I have more clarification on who this is that is spying on my pile one social media? We have the emperor. We have the Strength card. Yeah, lots of Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Who are these people that are spying on my pile on social media? The Nine of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. Okay, so there was some type of betrayal involved for a lot of you. Um, and they want to heal whatever happened between the two of you. And the Ace of Swords. Okay, at the back of the deck we have Justice. So... There was some kind of betrayal involved here, which is why the connection ended. And I feel like you said something to them with the Justice card at the back of the deck and the, the card of Language of Light. You know, you said something to them to call them out. Uh, you spoke your truth in some way. And I feel also Libra energy with the Justice card as well. Um, I feel like these are the types of people or person that is very much like financially well off with the nine of pentacles, you know, they have enough funds with the nine of pentacles opposite the four of wands to, you know, like go out a lot, go on holidays, take it as it resonates, go out for dinners each week, um, it's like they have enough to to be able to do all those fun things all the time. And for some of you, like I'm getting the vibe here, these, if you're a younger age, like I'm getting the vibe here, like it it, it isn't their money, but maybe they have rich parents and 
that's why they're able to do those things but it may not resonate with everyone because I don't think everyone watching is younger uh for those that aren't I think these people have their own careers they have uh stability within their own lives uh enough stability and they've made enough stability to be able to spend their money in ways that uh bring them a, a fulfillment and celebration with the ace of swords i feel like they're very talkative opposite the sun they're very talkative people they may be the types of people that love to uh you know i'm hearing spill the tea gossip talk about things that make you laugh uh, it's a very like fiery type of communication since we have the two flames here and it's opposite the sun. It's like, you know, when you're talking to someone and there's a lot of excitement within the conversations, a lot of like this, this fiery excitement energy. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. They could be the types of people that always know how to make conversations with people and make people kind of warm up to them through their conversations, uh, even people that they don't know. So they could be very outgoing with communication is what I feel here. And I feel like, I feel like they've been, like I said, waiting for a while to come back into your life. I feel like you brought a lot of strength into their life and a lot of light into their life. And maybe they are realizing what they had lost uh, a little bit too late from this betrayal or this deceit. And I guess it will resonate differently as to what this is. You know, for some of you, this could have been friendships that... Friends that lied to you. For some of you, this could have been friends that gossiped about you. For some of you, this could have been an ex-partner that betrayed you, that cheated that lied um it doesn't matter what it was because it's different for all of you but I pick up on the energy of betrayal here and I guess the overall energy we see here is they want to communicate with you again but I would say trust your intuition and your discernment since we see an owl here on the justice card trust your own intuition and discernment and if you don't want to speak to them you don't have to yeah, that's what I have for your reading. I think this is all Spirit is showing me. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there my pal number twos, if you chose this red jasper crystal and the strange valentine with the love is strange card number 27, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at who is spying on your social media. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's go ahead and take a look at your cards. This is from the Shadows and Light Oracle deck. We're going to be using the Sacred light tarot and the ethereal visions tarot so let's get started with your reading okay so spirit guides in my pile number twos who is spying on their social media we have power of presence with a power struggle unlock your potential and authenticity card number 25 and we have scales of karma with cycles of disharmony, creating new traditions and unfortunate events, card number 27. Okay, so your ancestors are coming through with the messages for this pile. At the back of the deck, we have Dharma Wheel with karmic lessons, peer pressure and moral codes. I think I have an idea of where this reading's going, but let's look at your tarot cards. When I pulled out the cards, the hermit wanted to pop up, so um, could be Virgo energy for some of you. I did feel earth sign energy with the red jasper crystal, so Taurus Capricorn as well. Um, but you may also... Well, let's just see with the cards. You may also know who this is if you, you know, listen to the information and look within. That's what I get from that card. So, spirit guides on my pile number twos. Who is spying on their social media? We have the Queen of Swords. 
we have the Page of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Tower. Who is spying on their social media? We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. So for a lot of you, this could have been a romantic connection. For others of you, it doesn't have to be, but it could have been someone you were very close to. The Devil in Reverse. I'm also noticing the Sun card wants to pop out with the Devil and the High Priestess. At the back of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this just let me this just lets me know a little bit into the reading. So I'm also seeing a lot of fire sign energy in this pile and I feel this is just one person. So the number 27 has showed up twice. That number could also be significant and it's 11-11 on the clock. So 2 plus 7 is 9 and 9 is about release. I feel like this is someone you've released from your life um, and it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There could also be some air sign energy here too. So Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. And uh, I definitely feel that Capricorn and Earth sign energy and Scorpio maybe as well. So for a lot of you, I feel this could have been a romantic connection that was in your life. For others of you, this could be a family member since we have your ancestors coming through with the scales of karma. And for others of you, this could have been just someone you were very close to where it felt like you two were felt like you two were always together always sharing love together this could have even been a best friend um or someone you were just really really close to where you shared a lot of love together where um i feel like this was a very passionate connection with the ace of wands you know like a very passionate igniting connection uh, if this was a friendship, you could have had a lot of laughs together, could have had a lot of fun together. It could have just been like exciting to be around this person. They could have brought a lot of excitement and passion and this type of carefree energy into your life. And if this was a romantic connection, there could have been a lot of um, bedroom passion. <laughs> uh, five, five, five on the timer. Yeah, uh, a lot of bedroom passion and a lot of just passionate feelings for each other. There could have been a lot of butterflies in this connection. However, with the Page of Wands, I don't think this person um, actually had any intention of committing. It's kind of like they... I know this is not what the Page of Wands usually means, but I'm getting this vibe from this card. Like, they didn't fully want commitment. They just wanted fun from you. Um... And with 555, you know, something could have changed here where at first it was maybe very passionate, where at first maybe they gave you a lot of love, uh, but then maybe there was a, a power struggle with highs and lows where maybe this person would withdraw a little bit. Um, and with the Six of Pentacles, you know, they could have been very generous with their love in the beginning. And with the Tower, it's kind of like they just took it away from you. Um I made it seem like they weren't doing that and I feel like this was a manipulation tactic uh, to kind of like get you to be the one uh, clinging on to them instead of them clinging on to you which is not a good thing at all. I feel like the energy here of love bombing and then you know withdrawing and withholding their love after and then having like cycles of disharmony, cycles of of this energy of highs and lows of like, I'm giving you so much love today and then tomorrow I'm like withdrawing my love and it's like pulling the rug under your feet and then now you're confused and you're like, why is this happening? Why are you doing this to me? And I'm like, I'm not doing anything with the devil in reverse. I feel like with the devil in reverse, this person never took any accountability for what they had done in, in your connection. And with the queen of swords, I feel like you did... Uh, speak up about what made you unhappy in this connection but 
I don't think they ever admitted or take uh, took accountability with the devil in reverse. They may have put it back on you uh, to make you feel bad or make you feel like you were the one in the wrong or they may have just said like, no, I'm not doing that. And since we have the tower card with this person wearing a mask, I feel like this person hid their true intentions towards you from the beginning. I don't like this person's energy at all. Um, it feels very egotistical and very much like a master manipulator, which I don't like at all. You know, what Spirit is showing me for those were, that were in romantic relationships, this may not resonate with everyone. So I'm going to put a timestamp for where you can skip to to skip over this message because I'm just sharing a vision of romantic connections. So I saw a vision of the Chilling v Adventures of Sabrina, the series. And later on this in the series, she first dates Harvey, but then they break up. And later on, she dates a guy called Nick um, that is at the school where she does magic with them, you know, uh, if you know the storyline. But basically what I saw in the vision is uh, that night in one of the episodes where they had the Lupercalia Festival, which is kind of like a um, festival where they get to uh, enjoy in... Um, unbridled pleasure in the bedroom. I guess this energy keeps showing up. I'm not trying to make this an 18 plus reading, but it keeps showing up. And uh, they get to pick a person or something, if I'm not mistaken, that they uh, get to uh, have that with. Um, and I feel like, you know, in that series when she started dating Nick, I didn't really like his character because I felt like... Um, Harvey was much sweeter to her than Nick was. Uh, Nick kind of gave me like that F-boy player vibe and he didn't look like he was completely taking her serious, you know, and uh, later on in the series, I think he, I think he kind of like cheated on her and was, he, well, I don't want to say this on YouTube, but she f actually caught him doing it with like a bunch of different people like I think more than six different people at once which is kind of like weird but anyways yeah and I guess after that they they made up and they got back together I can't really remember what happened exactly because it's been a while since I watched that series but I guess that maybe tells me a little bit into like this person's character for those of you if you were in a romantic relationship and this does relate to romance for you. For a lot of you I do feel it is with the love is strange, strange valentine. For a lot of you I do feel it was romantic and a situation where maybe this person had cheated on you or maybe this person had uh, played mental games or um, was kind of like a player, you know, F-boy, F-girl energy, and they didn't really have intentions of committing from the beginning. So I'm feeling like in in terms of who this person is for a lot of you, this person could have that type of energy of charisma I'm hearing. Um, they could be that type of person that when they are surrounded by people, people really like them and admire them. You know, they put in a lot of effort to kind of be generous towards people when they first meet people. And I feel like um, they show a charismatic good side of themselves to people. And I feel like a lot of people don't know their true colors. Um, this is a person that kind of wears a mask out in public. You know, like, I'm going to be honest with you, my pal, too. I don't like this person's energy. Like, this person is trash. Sorry, but they're trash. Like, I feel like this person, the devil in reverse, like, they can't take accountability for anything they do wrong. And no one really knows the true colors of them, the true side of them. I feel like they wear a mask out in public and they... They pretend to be a person that is very loving, very generous, very kind. They're very charismatic. They know how to talk to people, how to get people to trust them. They're probably very persuasive as well. Um, they're probably very nurturing when it comes to people they first meet. 
and like very generous. This person is the type of person that maybe gives a lot of compliments, knows how to make a person feel special at first, uh, so that they're really like hooked to this person or believe this person so great. Eleven twenty-two on the clock. Um, they maybe know how to like really buy gifts for people to. It's like that type of energy of like I'm not being generous to to give you something from the kindness of my heart. I'm being generous with you to for you to like me and for you to not see the true side of me under this mask. It's like that type of energy. Like uh giving with ulterior motives. So this a uh, uh, person is someone that has seen you be authentic within your own life but cannot be authentic within their own life because they know if they take off that mask no one's gonna really um like them you know maybe their reputation would be ruined in some way because I feel like in this person's reputation they're they're not seen as a toxic person however behind the doors there is power struggles with everyone they're with and I feel like this doesn't just have to be romantic but let's say uh let's say you had a friend for example that was like very toxic behind closed doors and let's say this friend got a new boyfriend for example let's say she got a new boyfriend and now she's doing the same things she did to you to this new boyfriend where she's having like power struggles with him like I feel like this is a type of person I'm just using that as an example but this is a type of person that does this to everyone they're close with um they may not do it to everyone everyone they're close with but a lot of people that get close to them see this see this ugly side to them I don't want to use those words but these are just the words that are coming out of my mouth like I don't know why. I feel like your spirit guides, your ancestors are angry that this person hurt you in some way. Because the way I'm channeling, like, I'm even getting angry <laughs> at this person um, for what they did here. Because it's like, I feel like they've worked very hard to upkeep their reputation and to develop a certain type of charisma to not let people see the real side of them. And it is frustrating to your spirit guides and your ancestors because it's like uh, this person may still talk about you with the queen of swords in a way and give information to people to make you look bad when they were the ones in the wrong. Does that make sense? Which is why it is so frustrating to your ancestors and your spirit guides because it's like this person is not learning. I feel like ever since you left this person's life, you know, this was a huge karmic um lesson within your life where you broke this lesson and I feel like for some of you it comes from past lives and for others of you it was like breaking cycles of ancestry uh so for example um it's not that deep I hear from your ancestors but let's say for example one of your ancestors or a lot of your ancestors you know had certain types of people around them where they maybe didn't speak up when that person was doing something wrong and maybe this time you spoke up and um it's like you broke that cycle of your ancestors from doing that I'm feeling like your ancestors saying if it was something like that it's not something so bad it's something you you've already broken that cycle um or let's say one of your ancestors or a lot of them didn't really know their worth uh, to leave certain relationships like this behind but you did then you broke that cycle so I feel like this was a cycle or a lesson you broke um, with this person and I feel like you've learned your lesson from this situation however this person hasn't and this is why your ancestors are saying they're frustrated because it's like this person is still talking about you. And the reason why Strange Valentine is showing up in the center of your reading with Love is Strange is because it's strange that this person um, is still talking about you. Uh, I don't want to swear on the channel, but I'm hearing talking mad shit. So 
Um, but at the same time, they're still crushing on you. Uh, for those of you where it was romantic. And at the same time, for those of you that wasn't romantic, they're still, they still miss you and love you in some way. But it's a strange love that is not a healthy love. Do you get what I mean? Like, this is not a healthy love at all. Um, this is a toxic kind of love that your guides are saying, like, don't go back to this person, please. Because this person, I don't think they've changed in any way since since they've left your life. This is definitely someone you've released from your life. So they're spying on your social media because they kind of miss you. But they're also spying on your social media because they're kind of like talking about you to people and showing who you are. I feel like this person's very immature for the age. You know, like, when I say for the age, this person could, for example, be in their 30s but still act like they are 18, you know, or 20. Or this person could be, for example, 25 but still act like they're 18. Or they could be 45 but still act like they're in their late 20s. Does that make sense? Like, this person hasn't matured um, that's what I'm getting from this pile. Let me get three last cards to close off the reading. Uh, what else, what other information do you have about this person that is spying on their social media? My pile number two, spirit guides, please. Seven of wands, you could have blocked this person or uh, you could have set some kind of boundary with them with the queen of swords and seven of wands. Could be blocking, could be a physical boundary, like I don't want to see you again. We have the Six of Wands. And the Knight of Cups. So they want to come back into your life. Um, with some kind of love offer here with the Knight of Cups. Because they see you doing well within your own life. Um, and they think you're doing mentally well. They think you've gotten a lot stronger since the last time you've seen them. Um, and they feel like you've healed and moved on in some way. And maybe this is why they want to come back. Because it's like, oh, this person has healed and moved on. Like, I want to come back into their life now. Um, but I feel with the Seven of Wands in the center, I don't think you're going to allow them back into their, into your life. Because I feel it's they're still not coming with good intentions, my pal twos. So that's what I want to say here. This is why this person is spying on your social media. And they're trying to act like they don't miss you and they really do. But at the same time, they haven't changed. They haven't grown. They haven't learned their lesson. I don't think this person's a good person. And yeah, that's where I'm going to leave this reading. I really hope this reading resonated for you, my pile twos. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there, my pile number threes. If you chose this tiger's eye crystal and the ghost of the past card with the past returns for a time, card number 42, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at who is spying on your social media. So please be aware this is a general reading. Only take or resonate to leave the rest. The card you chose is from the Shadows and Light Oracle deck. We're going to be using the Sacred Light Oracle deck and the Ethereal Visions Tarot. By the way, we started your reading at 11.33 on the clock. Could be an angel number significant to this reading. So let's take a look at your cards and see what shows up for you. Right off the bat, I feel three people's energies um, spying on your social media. They could all be related. Uh, like not related to each other but I mean like they could all know each other for some of you whereas for others of you I think there are three separate people spying on your social media so um up to three for most of you so spirit guides are my pile number threes who is spying on their social media we have lord I don't know how to say his name. Sorry about that. Indecision, 
Ego-based actions, lifestyle change, card number 22. And for some reason, um, the space between my solar plexus chakra and my heart got like itching when I pulled this card. I'll ask what that means because I get messages clairsentiently. Uh, we have Ascension Flame, card number four, with liberation, a greater sense of purpose, and high expectations. At the back of the deck, we have a sacred purpose with you have the answer, lucid dreaming, universal Merkaba. Okay. So, spirit guides of my pile number threes, who is spying on their social media? We have the Four of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the High Priestess. We have the Temperance card. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Emperor. And I'm noticing the Three of Cups and the Lovers wants to come out. So I'm just going to put these cards here for now. I'll add them in a bit after we analyze your cards that are here. At the back of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So in terms of signs I see here, I see a lot of air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I see a lot of this energy of Aries, a Leo energy, and Taurus. Um, Spirit is also letting me know fixed signs. So uh, Taurus, Aquarius, I've mentioned, um, Leo and Scorpio. So those are the signs I feel from your pile. Those are the signs I feel from your pile. So in terms of who this person is or who these people are that are watching your social media, just take the messages as they resonate. As I said, there could be up to three people for you. So, um, you know, since the lovers and three of cups came out, which I'll add in a minute, um, it could have been for some of you like a person you dated as well as friends in the past watching your social media all at the same time. It doesn't mean that they have to know each other, but they're just doing that at the same time. Uh, or for others of you, I guess you're just going to take it as it resonates. If you relate more to an ex-lover, then this could be them. Or if you relate more to ex-friendships, then this could be them. But I feel up to three people for a lot of you. Maybe four. But I feel more three. And I feel whoever these people are, there are people from your past with the Ghost of the Past card... Um, and they're returning from the past as we see in this card. However, I feel like you have moved on and you have left the past behind with the Four of Swords. You've left the past in the past. You're not focusing on that. I feel like you've released it from your life. You are focusing on the now, the present moment. You're no longer stuck in those past memories. However, I feel like these people still are. And for those of you where it's like an ex-lover, I feel them still being attracted to you. So that's something I see here. And them, um, you know, like staring a lot at a lot of your photos on social media or videos and like still being attracted um, in a sensual way. Some of you may be from pile two because in pile two I spoke a lot about like a person wearing a mask and here we see that in this pile again because here we see a masquerade ball where all of them in the background are wearing masks but she has taken her own mask off representing you stepping into your authentic power and truth and actually you know my whole body is itching as I tap into this person or people's energy. And you know what that means for me? 
as per my own spirit guides because like everyone has their own language and way of communicating with their spirit guides just like how we have inside jokes with our friends so when I have like my whole body itch if I do a reading for someone on another person it means that to me their energy is icky it feels gross it feels like bugs crawling on my skin it feels like oh I want to get out of there does that make sense uh you know when you see like something kind of gross and like your whole body itches and you feel like oh that's how I feel in this person's energy or these people's energy I mean they're showing up as a seven of swords so very deceitful energy and I feel like they're they haven't shown their true self to you until later on their true colors showed in your connection to them, which is probably why they are remaining in your past. And I feel like they're the types of people that don't show their true self to the world um, because their true self is quite deceitful with the Seven of Swords. However, they're noticing you be your authentic self and something about that uh, rubs them the wrong way because you come across as very pure and angelic um, and I feel like they're the types of people that are very much in their ego. For some of you I feel like this person or people could have hurt you a lot with the three of swords and how I felt that itch between the solar plexus and the heart chakra first I feel like maybe that represents them Doing something so wrong to you or saying something so wrong to you that hurt you, it not only hurt your heart, it felt like your heart was being wounded in that moment, but it also maybe hurt your self-worth in some way or the way you viewed yourself. So for example, let's say um, a friend here of yours Let's say you two were always like friends and always going out together and let's say this friend just starts insulting insulting you out of nowhere and it's like, whoa, where did all of this come from? And it really hurt your heart but then also maybe made you feel like, is what they're saying true? Um, or let's say an ex-lover here Let's say they dropped you for another person, for example. It doesn't have to be the examples I'm mentioning, but with the Seven of Swords, they did something bad here. They they came with a deceitful energy, and I don't feel like their intentions were pure from the beginning. They made it seem as though their intentions were pure and that they were just wanting to give you love with the Temperance and the Ace of Cups and harmony and balance, but they, behind the scenes... This was the mask they were wearing and this is behind the scenes of what they were actually intending to do. And let's say that whatever they did made you feel like, whoa, like, am I not worthy of love? And I, I don't think that's true, but I think you've healed from that since with the temperance card. And I feel like you have moved on uh, very much so from them. But I also feel like they could be dreaming of you or you could be dreaming of them because of this feeling of, you know, how they say telepathy happens also like when a person thinks of you a lot. I don't know if any of you have ever experienced like when you're uh, talking about someone and then they all of a sudden message you or um, when you're thinking about someone and they all of a sudden call you. It's like that type of energy. If they're thinking about you a lot, they could be dreaming of you or you could be dreaming of them or they could be popping up in your mind a lot with the high priestess because I feel like this pile is very intuitively connected to spirit and I feel like your guides are always showing you messages of what's happening around you to help you see into the unknown, uh, into what you physically don't know but spiritually you're seeing it or you're feeling it so your guides want you to trust your intuition when these you know intuitive information comes through with the high priestess like if you haven't thought of someone in a while and all of a sudden your mind goes back to them that's a sign or if you are just like scrolling on social media and you all of a see all of a sudden see their page pop up or um someone starts speaking about them 
you know, that's a sign. Like anything about that or dreaming of them or even just feeling like someone is watching your social media and feeling the energy, you know, trust those intuitive signs is what your guides are saying. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like they really hurt you with the Three of Swords, with whatever deceitful, I'm hearing garbage they did. This is not my words. These are your spirit guide's words. Uh, but I feel like you liberated yourself from these people. What your guides are showing me is these connections were meant to end. They were meant to stay in the past. They were not meant to carry on over into your future, into now. Because I feel in a way these types of people did not have good intentions towards you. They did not have real love towards you. And you liberating yourself from that that's freeing you from these types of people. My pile number threes, I feel like it's better to be alone for a period of time or to to wait a little bit for people that do actually love you than to have people like this in your life that just that just make you make your heart sore, you know what I mean? And I feel like this these connections were meant to end. You know, you were meant to liberate yourself from these connections in your life. Because I feel like they would have just held you back and held you down and made you even more sad or made you even more heartbroken, you know. I don't think they've learned at all. So the types of people these are. So in terms of friendship, I'm hearing that um, Jennifer's body quote not quote, but like it's a scene between them when um, I think Jennifer says to her best friend or something like that, um, I'm not jealous of you. I was the pageant queen or something like that. Um, so I feel like in some way, if some of you, if if this was a friendship for some of you, like there could have been hidden feelings of jealousy involved towards you. Um. And if this was a relationship, like romantic, then it could have also been that way. Because I'm seeing this person, while all of them feel like you are someone with a lot of seductive and magnetic energy. And I feel like in terms of friendship, they could have been jealous of you because of the attention you got from others and because others really admire you and like you. Um, and if it was like a romantic connection, same thing, you know, like they could have seen other people look at you or stare at you uh, for some of you where they got kind of jealous of that. I feel like these are the types of people that are not they don't have a healthy view of love and I feel like they're not they're not wanting to see how what they're doing wrong. They're not wanting to liberate themselves from them from this, you know. Um because I feel like these are whatever they're doing, it's coming from the ego. You know, and whatever they're doing, I don't think they're just doing to you. I think they're having other relationships in their life that they're doing this to as well. For a lot of you or some of you, these three people could all know each other and could be sitting together talking about you and uh, looking at your social media together. For others of you, they're doing it individually. Uh, these are the types of people I'm hearing that are very competitive and I'm feeling like in their workspace or if they're studying or whatever they're doing in their careers, like they're very competitive there. They always want to be the best. They always want to um, be the one that is recognized in some way. You know, they always want to be the one that is the most seen. Uh, even if you had friendships with these people, for example, let's say you have friends and you go out together and let's say a lot of people are looking at you. Now they're getting jealous of you because everyone's looking at you. They want to be the one that shines the most and no one must outshine them because they need to be the ones that shine the most. Like I feel that energy from them. I feel like these are the types of people that 
can sometimes be a little bit relaxed and chilled back, chilled laid back. But I feel like at the same time, they're also like, I feel a lot of fiery energies. Like, I feel like these are the types of people where you sit with them and you're having fun. But then all of a sudden, like someone says something and then it turns into a whole big fight and drama. Like, I feel like these are the types of people that always have drama in their lives. And it's like, you look at your own life and you're like, how does this person have so much drama? Uh, because they're the ones creating the drama, but maybe saying they don't like the drama. Um, like, for example, let's say this was a friendship group for some of you. If this was like three friends, for example, uh, the lovers and three of cups. And let's say, let's say you were one of the three friends and I'm hearing the word triangulation. And let's say, you know, one person's like, oh, they said this about you. And then the other person's like ganging up on um, well, the two of you are like ganging up on the other because of that. Or let's say the one person is gossiping about you to the other person and then um, gossiping about them to you. Does that make sense? It's like that type of energy of like two-facedness, I feel. Like a very competitive, mean girl energy, regardless of gender. Let's just pull a few more cards to end off the reading. But I hope this gave you some information into uh, who they are. I feel like they take competition really seriously. So spirit guides in my pile number three is who are these people? We have the Ten of Wands and the Two of Swords. They make a lot of decisions in their life that lead to the heartbreak of others around them, that lead to drama, that lead to baggage, stress, more karma, more deceit more anger, but they're the ones causing it. And they don't, they don't look within or see that. They don't see that they're doing anything wrong. I feel like these are the types of people that always blame the other person. Um, they don't see what they're doing wrong. Um, you know, if they have a fight or drama with someone, they're like, oh, that person did this to me. But then it's like, they, they were the ones that caused it in the first place, you know. Um, maybe sometimes they even lie to themselves. I don't know. Like, I feel like these people are learning lessons surrounding the Seven of Swords deceitful energy and how to not be in that energy. But they're not learning that lesson. It's like they keep making the same choices over and over and over again in different people's lives, but they don't learn from those lessons. So this is all I have for you, my pile threes. This is all spirit is showing me like they're just not good people overall. Very icky. Like I don't think you should have people like this back in your life if they ever try to come back. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye.